Nipah isn't as well known as some other viruses, but that doesn't make it less dangerous. First discovered in Malaysia in the late 1990s, this virus has since shown up in India and Bangladesh with deadly results. What makes Nipah so frightening is how fast it acts and how severe the symptoms can be. This virus jumps from animals to humans, specifically from fruit bats. These flying mammals are natural carriers and they can shed the virus through saliva, urine, or leftover fruit. In some cases, pigs have also acted as intermediate hosts, but the real concern starts when it reaches people. Once inside the body, Nipah can cause a range of symptoms, from fever and drowsiness to severe brain swelling. In some outbreaks, patients developed encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain, leading to confusion, seizures, and in many cases, coma. The fatality rate has reached up to 75% in certain regions. What sets Nipah apart is its potential for human-to-human -human transmission, especially in healthcare settings. That's why doctors and nurses in outbreak zones wear full protective gear. The virus doesn't spread easily through the air, but close contact makes it a real risk for those providing care. There's no approved treatment or vaccine, which puts a heavy focus on prevention. Limiting contact with bats, avoiding fruit that may have been exposed, and responding fast to any suspected cases. Nipah is a textbook example of how a virus can jump from the natural world to humans in the blink of an eye.